Opening PSD files in Affinity is as easy as opening them in Photoshop. Hi, my name is Nakristos and in this video I'll be showing you how to open PSD files with Affinity and they work just well. If this is a video you want to watch, kindly leave a like and also subscribe to this channel if you haven't. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is to come over to open. This is the Affinity interface. Uh, if you don't know how Affinity is, you can watch my previous video on Affinity. So we're going to come up here and this is the home page of Affinity. If yours is like this, just make sure you click on home. All right. So when you click on home, you have this home page. All right. So you have your home, you have open and you have the plus icon for new project. Now you choose on the plus icon if you want to create um, a project right here in your Affinity. All right and open if you want to open up a new um, project so i'm going to go over to my documents all right and the folder that i have my photoshop files in so i'm going to open this thumbnail all right as you can see from the thumbnail it was uh, a psd file that was there which means that you can open in Photoshop and we're trying to open it here in Affinity. All right. So you can see up here it's showing um, loading one document. So we're going to wait for it to load. Most times Photoshop documents are large and they have to open. All right. So, so we have here, um, here is the location of the PSD file. So we have it in my c drive users user documents photoshop new thumbnail all right then we have this unknown property adjustment gradient view effect gradient view these are the things that i did in photoshop that i think affinity cannot read all right so we have this and this is the thumbnail i'm going to go to vector preview mode so that it's going to show this as a vector if I don't do that, you're going to see how the text appears. But if I do that, you can see how smooth it is. All right. One thing I like about Affinity is the way it zooms in so clean and so smooth, unlike Photoshop. So this is it. And um, you can see that it's fully editable. It's fully editable. By the way, look at it in Photoshop. This is the main one. Now, I know you might be seeing some difference. And yeah, that's because Camera Raw is on here in photoshop but uh affinity it's not there's i'm not sure there is a camera roll, but there are some effects um under the pixel um under the pixel studio and then um, um there are some effects that you can add to your picture to make it look like that's one in photoshop all right we're going to cover that in previous in subsequent videos all right so you can see it's fully editable and you can see here as well this is the file editable in photoshop all right i can change it to anything i want i can highlight the text here all right and i can italicize the text as well as add other things like layer effects and uh, uh, the rest of it I see the Gaussian blow is adding to um, it. I can add some other things and a whole lot of stuff. And some of the effects from Photoshop also came in here, like on the Affinity logo as well. So um, I'll also be opening another project, but this one is from um, Adobe Illustrator. So I'm going to go to my document, Illustrator, and um, I want to open one logo. I don't know which one I should. Let me open this one. Okay, let me open this logo and um, okay. So it's going to automatically switch to the Vector Studio. If I tap on this, you can see that it switched to the Pixel Studio. Also working with Pixels here. By tap on this, it's going to switch back to the Vector Studio. Alright, and this is the logo. 
So you can see everything is fully editable here. Like fully editable. When I mean fully, I mean fully editable. All right. Every single thing that I could edit in um, in Adobe Illustrator, I can do it here. Every single thing. All right. So you can see how I'm dismantling the logo. All right. So that's basically it. If you want to continue your Photoshop project or your um, your Illustrator project in Affinity Designer and not Photoshop. This is just the best way to open your PSD files or your uh, or your Adobe Illustrator files in Affinity. Hope you learned something new. Uh, I'll see you in the next video. Till then, keep creating and keep testing out Affinity.